There we are. Good eye, good eye, everybody. My name is Critmith. You're, well, I'm, I'm a little out of it today. Let me try that again. I'm Critmith, man of a hundred voices, and your dad joke VTuber. Good eye, good eye, and welcome, everybody. Welcome into the stream. Uh, I seem to have forgotten who put uh, Nautica on the stream. Hold on. Let's fix that quickly. I know you guys can hear it. Hello, hello, new watchers. Thought you missed the stream. No, 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 you guys are all good. So let me just quick say hello to everybody. Villain, good eye, good eye, and welcome. Tom, good eye, good eye, and welcome to the stream. Melissa, always good to see you again. Good eye, good eye, and welcome. Hope it's not too late for you. I used to be Char Brooks. Ah! So I do recognize you, villain. Oh, awesome. Welcome back, everybody. Glad to see you all for the speaking of wonderful subnautica below zero and the fun times that's gonna have in store it's good to see you all i hope you're having a wonderful sunday my sunday is going all right <laughs> uh it got surprisingly hot where i live and i do not do well in the heat so i'm a little uncomfortable and i don't want to turn on my air conditioner because although the Thermometer right next to me is saying it is 77 degrees Fahrenheit because I am an American and I speak F. Because of that, it's still only once once the temperature drops today for the rest of the week, it's not going to get above 55 or 60. And I don't want to turn on my AC. I can suffer one day, but I have the fan under my desk turned on. Not like a fan for my computer or anything. I just have like uh, one of those small little whatchamacallit fans. Bro doesn't want to pay the bill. See, you understand. <laughs> it's one day of suffering. If all of that cold air that I'm going to pay for is just going to be matched by outside tomorrow, th then no, then, then I'm not going to turn it on. Huh. 2 a.m. for you? My God. Jeez, Melissa. Well, don't stay too late, Melissa. We don't condone uh, stream over lack of sleep. That AC bill, man, that's what gets ya. you. You are accurate. 100%. Especially with how cold I like it. But okay. If it's not painfully obvious, we're playing Subnautica Below Zero. We beat Subnautica. And we started Below Zero last week, I want to say. It was a week or two ago, I... Everything blends together at this point. It's like 1.08 p.m. for me. See, that's not bad at all. That's a nice midday of Sunday. Not, you know, 2 a.m. Monday morning. All right, before we... Ha Actually, no. We're going to click to hop in here as I take a drink from my lovely caffeine source today. Ah. Uh. Well, that was a weird sound. Hmm. All right. Subnautica below zero. Catching everybody up where we're at. As soon as we load in, we'll see it as we watch a cute little penguin do his little hippie hoppies. <laughs> I'm getting burned alive where I live. I will count my... I will count myself lucky, but look at our surroundings here. Wouldn't it be nice to be in a place where there's snow inside? So I did some research, Crit, and the answer to the question, if there are enemies on land, there are enemies on land. Oh, great. <laughs> but you know, enemies on land don't frighten me. It's weird. Don't mind me, I like staying up. Well, good for you. I, I am also a night owl, so I, I, I can't, you know, I can't blame you. All right. If memory serves, we are currently in Delta Station, covered in all of the snow. Look, we even have a window. Yeah, this map. Why, why is this so dark? I jump into the snow to cool off. So would I. Um, I actually have a very fond memory of that, of when I was on swim team. Uh, one day during the winter, we just opened the doors and we just jumped and rolled in some snow. 
I say to report bugs. I don't want to report bugs. We just jumped into a snowbank and then we ran back inside and jumped in the pool. It was freezing and it was amazing. Okay. Just like normal Subnautica, I'm not entirely sure where I need to go. I want to make sure I scanned everything because now we can make a container and a fabricator and a map. I wish I had the map. Bro, can you? It, it took you all of... How long have we been live? Nine minutes. Okay, I guess it took them ten minutes to start bothering us. But all right. We need to return to the water. We have the Delta Station dock. I think I'm going to leave that there. That's way over there. That's what we need. Uh, and that's an objective. Probably. What did I say? Enough with the claws and the scratching. and the Hold on one second. I'm going to go talk to him. All right. He is just being very friendly. Is there Googles for the cat? I assume you mean goggles. And it, it's actually... That's the most important question? That's actually a fun, funny thing that you ask. Uh, so, yeah, let's put Rowan on screen because he's nearby. And as long as he's being a good boy, he gets his goggles. So that is an important question. And I have the important answer of yes. Yes, he does. Good boy, Rowan. I don't know if you guys heard him meow. Ooh, it's nice and orange outside. Oh, that must mean uh, sun is coming up. Can I scan this? No, I cannot. Let's see if we can go that way. Again, I want to run back, back home. If he isn't a good boy, he drowns. I never said that. I just said he doesn't get the... He only gets the goggles while he's a good boy. You can twist my words all you want, but I never said anything about that. Oh. I was going to jump. That actually might be a painful fall. How about we temper it? Well, it is snow, so... Nope, so painful. Hurts every time. <laughs> Ooh, how's our water? We probably need to drink some. Man, look at all this extra stuff we have. We need to make a base. All right, so here is the Delta Station. Rowan, get down. Oh, we might be afraid to go under the... Uh... Thought I heard something. I was gonna say I think Rowan might be afraid to. Uh, we're just gonna hop here in the water like so, and perfect. Now we don't lose oxygen or. Uh, okay, we are uh, still freezing. Does, does this split the difference? Sure. The screen is so blurry for me. Ooh, let me see if that's on me. Uh, it looks like the stream is coming in. Bro just played that sound off like it wasn't anything. Ah, yes, I'm going to do that. That is my coping mechanism. Don't call me out like that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to head back because a base is a base. Ooh, actually... What's this? Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Okay. Good to know, I guess. We actually don't have that much space. I should just. It's not on him, by the way. Oh, that must have been that. Is Rowan always in streams at least once? Yes. Like, it's not mandatory, like, oh, I need to make sure I hit my Rowan quota for the stream. 30 seconds um, of oxygen remaining. It's more so uh, Rowan 
uh, is very attached and super friendly. So anytime I'm on stream, he will always be by. And I've just always made it a habit to put him on stream whenever he's in, whenever he's around. So you know the Reefbacks from Subnautica? They are a Leviathan class. Yeah, they're actually a friendly Leviathan. So not all Leviathans are predatory, terrifying sea beasts. Just most of them are. And just like how they are Leviathans, uh, predatory, annoying, scary sea beasts, such as, well, at least for me, uh, things like the Stalker and the Bone Shark. They're not Leviathans, but I still hate them. Okay. All right. Uh, apparently what was we're that getting... woman's problem? The one in the exosuit. We're getting hit with a lot of like I need to stuff. say which woman. And uh -huh. what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly Ooh. a happening vacation Enamel spot. Wow. Th things she are made so differently. Well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She okay, said I... to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? Are we done? You done? Okay. We're back. Let's see. Is there are is there Reaper Leviathans in this game? No. And thank thank you for beating me to it. Yeah, there are no Reapers in this game. So you would think that would make me feel safer. But even though there are no Reapers, there are new things that I do not know exist. Okay. Let's see. What is on our making menu? Do we have the ability to make things yet? Okay, so we have base pieces, but I don't see a, uh, the, the, a builder yet. So I don't think we can make stuff. Executive toy. Aw. <laughs> the little Newton's cradle. The Leviathan in this game are scarier if the if the Subnautica are if the Subnautica ones are scary for you. I've heard the exact opposite. I've heard uh, most people find the Reaper terrifying, myself included. Um I know some people are afraid of the ghost Leviathans, but those didn't bother me too much. I am quite aware of the Leviathans in this game. Specifically one. There, there is one that I know I'm going to be afraid of. Um, but I don't think I'm afraid of the other ones. Outside of, like, standard fear. Like, you throw me in the ocean with just my sea glide, I'm going to be afraid of a stalker level of thing. Also, like the swimming bear that we uh, sw swam past uh, just a few minutes ago. But we need to find a sea truck and a mobile vehicle bay as well as a uh, base builder. I really would like to build a base. I'm glad we have materials, uh, but can we store them? Not in here. <laughs> let's put some extra titanium in there. Ah, let's head to the locker above our base. Huh. Uh, we can't make a lot. All right, I need a no Hey, what else can I make? A thermos, insulated storage receptacle for beverages. Wait, if I made a coffee maker, could I fill my thermos with coffee and it provides me uh, fluids? I might watch your stream and play Fallout 4. I might think about Fallout 4 when I play my stream. Hmm. Hmm. No, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I actually encourage people to multitask when watching my stream. Uh, the chat interaction is fun, don't get me wrong. But if you have other things to do, feel free. I'm going to sit here having a good time playing a game, trying to provide a wonderful, entertaining background noise. If you want to actively pay attention to my background noise... I thank you. I appreciate that. If you want to just put me in the background and do something else, I absolutely encourage and adore that. I have never been much of an active like participant in streams. Like when I watch them, I always put them on in the background and then I 
like start editing videos, play a game. I love it. So highly encourage that behavior. Feel free to not make me the priority of your time. I'm gonna make a locker. How do I open? There we go. I'm playing modded mi Minecraft while watch, wa whilst watching this stream. That's awesome! And I see Melissa is speaking in emojis again. Let me decipher the hieroglyphics. I ice cream me. I hope that means you're eating ice cream and you're not making uh, strange alternative implications that I'm not going to address. We can actually store all of our excess in here, can't we? Oh, we have a large filtered water. That's awesome. Also, isn't it 2 a.m. for you? Ice cream at 2 a.m. You live a indulgent life, and I am jealous. I am eating ice cream. Okay, good. I, I interpreted the hieroglyphics correctly. That actually sounds awesome. He screams? Not yet. Uh, wait, uh, I can't actually say that with a straight face, can I? I have only screamed once, and it was because the prawn suit gave me a jump scare, okay? It wasn't my fault. Uh, all right. Well, we have all of our wonderful storage. We have plenty of space with plenty of survivability and an extra beacon. Uh, so I guess we're going to go to the pilot last known location, and hopefully we find some things to scan along the way. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Lucky Melissa, I know, right? Now I want some ice cream. <gasps> sea monkey. I want to say hi to the sea monkey. Hi, sea monkey. Aren't they adorable? I want to get him a present. I hear sea monkeys like shiny. So if you give them a present, they like become your friend or something like that. So here, I'm gonna get some air and then I'm gonna give them a piece of titanium. Or I'm going to try, let me rephrase that. I cannot give them a piece of titanium. Uh, can I give them this? I'm tempted to give them this. Just a walking piece of draining battery. Where'd the monkey go? The monkey go in here? I don't know where the monkey went. I lost my monkey! His name was gonna be Steve. Oh, I found the monkey. I also heard some sounds. Hey, monkey, can I give you this? I mean, he's going to take it, but... Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. I'm going to follow the monkey. Ah, <sighs> aren't you cute? And can I have my mineral detector back? Thank you, monkey. <sighs> a nice, peaceful, non-panicky swim. Oh, that's a cool structure. I kind of want to climb it. Monkey. Yeah, exactly. Monkey. All right. And the structure I can climb. Oh, that's probably Delta Station. Wait, Delta Station's way too far away. What on earth is that? Also, I see a monkey. 
funky. What? I kind of want to touch it, but I think it'll actually hurt me. What? What is this? Ooh. A, a place. All right, we get a flare. Nutrient bar. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. All right. I am seeking, seeking. I am seeking shelter. That is some dangerous weather. You know. Maybe we explore in the tomorrow. Yeah. We will just do some uh, mineral gathering for now. Mm-hmm. Yes, that, that seems like something I want to do. Yes, just mineral gather. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I'm launching a rocket in Minecraft? Man! Why you gotta flex on me like that? <laughs> I, I just built a rocket in the last Subnautica game. Why you gotta tell me you're already building the rocket? You're gonna play Borderlands 3 while watching my stream? Oh, that's awesome! I love the Borderlands game so much. Man, why am I such a chicken in this game? <laughs> I know why! It's a rhetorical question. I know why I am a absolutely terrified of this game. Okay. Uh, well, we have to go there. Gotta go to space? I, fair. That That's a fair reasoning. Uh, it's like, I know I have to go over there. What is that? In the south? Uh, I forget what the map said about the south. If we start heading that direction, I know what I need to do is find more scannables. Oh, so actually let's uh turn it to, uh, yeah, fragments. Ooh, fragment. Oh, it's a sea glide fragment. Damn it. I mean, I know what I want. I want more stuff. But unless I'm willing to go to very deep places and breach my comfort zone. Oh! <gasps> you know, I say that and we just got a sea truck. Uh, now we just need the mobile vehicle bay in order to build it. Ooh, table coral. That stuff is rare. New technology acquired. Good lord, you discover the sea truck and everything comes with it. Also, what did we just happen upon? So if I was a mobile vehicle bay, where would I be? Ooh. This place is neat, but I could probably drown here. Mobile vehicle bay? <gasps> I was kidding! All right, we're going back. Scannable? Oh, help her. I don't know how, but I managed to I managed to get a biplane to fly in space. You know, I don't know how you did that either. But I'm proud of you. That is an achievement in and of itself.
Oh, this is fantastic. We got the two things that I think we absolutely needed for me to not be a scared little chicken all the time. Oxygen. We got three things that I needed to not be a scared little chicken. Oxygen being one of them. <laughs> I scan this. Ba ba ba. There, nice and dry. Where'd Rowan go? All right, Rowan seems to have left us alone. Let me uh, first of all hit save because I have to, and secondly, let us lower him from the screen. But also need to take off his mask until he comes back. Oh, there he is. Good boy, Rowan. Just got done taking you off screen, and now you're coming back. Dang it, I crashed a plane in space into a space station. That... Yep, that happened. <laughs> Down, little guy. Down. Down, Rowan. Okay. On my agenda. What can we make? All right, synthetic fibers. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know what a ruby is. I have no idea what spiral plant clipping is, but I'm assuming I take a knife to it after I find it. Good boy, Ro. Can you get down? Good boy. Uh, forgot to turn off my phone or silence my phone. Just got a message. Let's see. We can now make titanium ingots. Oh, they only take five titanium now instead of 10. They're being generous. Or they're telling me that titanium is a lot harder to find here. We can make glass. We can make plasteel, which is the exact same, but because ingots are cheaper, so are plasteels. Hi, Rowan. Aren't you being a little invasive right now? Enamel doesn't need stalker teeth because stalkers don't exist. So it's lead and diamonds. That's oddly more expensive. Power cell, two batteries and a piece of rubber. All right, that's, that's, that's really cheap. I wonder if we can do the same thing where we can use unpowered batteries. A deployable. We have the mobile vehicle bay, which we will absolutely need. And an upgrade. Oh, we can just make the upgrades here? Yo, that's awesome. Oh, we don't have any lithium, but hey, I appreciate just having the upgrades right away. Cool. So we don't really need a. Oh, there must not be a um like moon pool, or something to that level in this game. Uh, well we need a titanium ingot, lubricant, and a computer chip. How do we make all that? Creepy, creepy vine seed cluster. We have one. Titanium ingot. We can actually make that right now. Let's do it. And then for the computer chip, we need two table coral. I only have one, a gold and copper wire. All right, well, now we have the copper wire. So table coral, there's one, creepy vine, and a piece of gold like that. All right, that should be everything. Uh, let's make the lubricant. Make the computer chip. and make ourselves a mobile vehicle bay. Let us go. Ah, oh, I feel so accomplished. They didn't make a fun sound though. All right, I'm gonna hit save. I'm also gonna give a big stretch. Uh. Oh. Uh, dang it, I set off nuclear explosives in space. In spice. Mm. And I do appreciate the play-by-play -play there, villain. But mm, I've, I've been kind of lax with it for now, but I'm just going to give a quick reminder to everybody in stream. Uh, when using chat, please try to keep it relevant to the uh, topics at hand. Um, 
since I'm playing Subnautica and like what I'm talking about, I'm glad you guys are having fun and that you want to share your experiences with me. Um, but I'm not playing Minecraft or I'm not uh, talking about Minecraft uh, or the games you guys are playing. Keep playing your games, but please don't try to use the chat on this stream to explain your games. I, as much as I appreciate it and want to hear it, I, I, I want the chat to be used for this experience that we're seeing. Just friendly reminder. Nobody's in trouble. Uh, but it is one of the chat rules because things can get out of hand if I left it open to, yeah, talk about anything you want. Um, I, I want to be the pilot of this chat. Oh, it is getting hot in my uh, place, though, which is a little unfortunate. My computer has actually reached its new highest uh, temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, which is still okay. Uh, I, I only need to start worrying once it gets to like 80 and 90, but I've never had it get that high. So I think I've been lucky that I've had nice cold air nearby in order to cool it off. Also Subnautica, Blow Zero, Subnautica, and all these higher games are pretty intensive on my computer to stream. Maybe I'll have to look into adding maybe a few more fans. Yeah, I might have to look into getting a couple more fans in order to help cool it off, increase the airflow, blah, blah, etc. Anywho's, we're hopping out and right above our lovely base here. Uh, which direction do we want it on? I kind of want to put it on the north side. I like north side. Yeah, it looks right at that mountain. And we deploy. Is there space beneath it? There is space beneath it. How do we make a sea truck? Oh, basic glass. I was going to start complaining like, oh, great. It needs enameled glass. Okay. Uh, so an ingot, an advanced wiring kit, which we, I didn't see what's needed for that, but it's probably a bunch of silver, three pieces of lead and a power cell, and then a pair of glass. That is very doable. Oh, it's freezing cold up here. Let's get down. Uh, so I probably could have seen the blueprint in here. Synthetic fibers. I, I like the color. I like the goldish. An advanced wiring kit. A wiring kit and a computer chip. Okay, so we need more gold and table coral. We can get that, though. Where is my sea truck? All right, let's see what we have. So we need a pair of silver. I see one silver, and I do know we need table coral and gold which oh we actually have a second silver yeah all right so there is our wiring kit we need two pieces of glass so i think we need four pieces of quartz let's quick double check that yes so here is our glass uh we need a titanium ingot so let's make that we need to make a wiring kit uh, then we need a computer chip again, so we need more copper wire. And then we need to make a power cell, so we're going to need some rubber. Which is creepy vine seed cluster. So we need to go out one way or another. Uh, let's take a quick swig of water. And then lead. Do I have any extra lead? I do have the all the lead I need in here. Wow. Um table coral so we need one table coral a creepy vine seed and whatever it needs to make a battery which is copper and then plants plants like I know what that means uh, ah kelp forest we need this also your water come, come here water All right, we needed that. Wait, can I scan that? Do I never scan this? Fascinating. All right, so that's the rubber we needed. Uh, table coral. We need to find. 
Oh, it's a penguin! Yo, you're stuck, buddy. Here, let me help. I got you. Shelf coral. Oh. I was hoping this was table coral. Can I cut shelf coral? Not efficiently. If I was a piece of table coral, where would I be? Do I also need a piece of gold? Hold on, let's uh, swap oxygen. Perfect. Do I have a piece of gold in here? No. Do I have a piece of gold in here? Yes. All right, we do need a gold. Um, table coral is the last thing we need. Let's see if we can find it as we ignore whatever made that sound. Table coral. I need some table coral. <laughs> Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Lenny! But I'll still top it off just to shush shush. And all I want is some tabla coral. I'm either dumb or they didn't put any table coral in the starting area. Which is kind of mean. Wait, what's this? Is this metal salvage? Oh, a sea truck fragment. So yes, metal salvage. <laughs> Ignore all the ambient roars. Uh-oh. Fish. Well, my uh, sea glide ran out of battery. That's fine. Still are. It is. There we go. That's why we take an extra battery with us. I learned from the first time I... Uh, sea Glide ever ran out of battery. How scary that was for me. And I don't even have room for a Tabla Coral anymore. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> I need to make rubber at least, so let's make some rubber. Okay. Uh. I want to turn these bladder fish into waters. I'm glad they didn't um, make the home base uh, have a limited power supply. I've never been in a situation where I've like been struggling with like home base's power supply, but it exists. Yay, some water. So let's see, what did we need to make again? We need one more battery, so I need to go Survival pick up two drilling plants. Would be greatly enhanced with the construction of an underwater vehicle. You are mean. <laughs> you are just mean for even suggesting that. Like, I'm not trying. <laughs> All right, where are some ribbon plants? The ribbon plant and what attacked? Oh, the the penguin hunted a fish. Okay, that makes me feel better. I need to stop picking up everything. <laughs> I need a ribbon plant and a tabla corral. And since we're in the shallows, I'm going to try to save my uh, sea glide battery a bit. Nah, we have to make another battery anyways. 
So might as well drain this battery so that uh, we can use two dead ones. Ah, ribbon plant. All right, now we just need a tabla corral and we don't have room for it. God. <laughs> uh, I can still look for a tabla, right? I really hope that Delta Station wasn't where the, like, base builder uh, scam was, and I'm being a dunce who missed it. I gotta go, bye. Oh, I appreciate you hanging out, villain. Take it easy. You have a good one. Feel free to check the VOD afterwards. Etc. Blah, blah. Salutations. Uh, what was I doing? I needed to store stuff. Let's just store everything that we can. Yeah, good enough. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ooh, let's make the battery now, just in case we run out. Excellent. Uh, Tabla Corral! Just like uh, when we played original Subnautica, this game's going to get a lot more fun for you guys uh, once I get my vehicle. Because my cowardice level is directly proportionate to how much of my body is touching water. It's not a joke about, like, I just don't like touching water. That's, I, I feel so much safer when I'm inside of a vehicle, and I feel even safer inside of a vehicle that can attack. Which, using my uh, cheating perception of, I've seen somebody play this game, uh, I do know there is a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A prawn suit in this game. So I am looking forward to that. What's that? Is that just a piece of rock? It is. A piece of rock. <laughs> this is a piece of rock. Okay. Oxygen. Yep. Going for some oxygen. I am struggling to find some table coral. What's this? I don't know, but I can scan it. Grav traps. I remember those. I used them once in Subnautica, and then I never touched them again. Monkey? Monkey, no. Monkey. Here, monkey, you can have this. You can play with that, monkey. Man, it is dark. Can I have it back, monkey? Monkey, I want that back. Thank you. Still no tabla corral. Also, I don't like the hyper silence. Oxygen. Uh, I'm not used to having very little oxygen. All right, looks like the sun's coming up. Man, I'm glad I've been grabbing every piece of table coral that I've seen so far. I didn't realize it was going to be a hot commodity. This is not table coral, correct? No. What the f is that? Well, we have discovered a new area. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. That is unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go to the surface and ignore the brand new fish that I don't want to touch or see or get close to or tempt. It just wants a freaking tablet coral. Oxygen. Once we make a vehicle, the, what's it called in this game? A sea truck? Then we'll go touch the new fish. 
That came out funny. I didn't mean it that way. We will explore the new fish's phys... I'm just going to stop. <laughs> we will be braver and... Nope, that's... E still. Uh, we'll actually start playing the game and going out in deeper waters once I get a vehicle. Is that a thunderstorm? Yes. Hello, well, oh, super chicken. Good eye, good eye, and welcome. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, eat a nutrient bar. Just get that hunger all the way up. You know what? Since we're here, I'm going to take a quick drink. Another quick hit of caffeine. Huh. We can't find a final piece of table coral. Uh, you know, something I should probably do is just check to see if there's any table coral in my lockers. There's none in there. And there's none in there. Okay. So we are missing table coral. Um... Hmm. I'm actually going to go to the PDA. Uh, indigenous life forms. Flora is plants. Exploitable. What do you mean exploitable? Seriously, what do, what do they mean exploitable? Does that mean I can use them? Like I should have harvested the honeycomb? Uh, this hardy fungus erupts through the thick ice shelf. It sends a collection of hyphae filaments that collect nutrients and moisture deep into the ice shelf until it hits permafrost. From there, the hyphae inter intertwine into a thick root-like system called, excuse me, mycelicords. These mycelium efficiently pull nutrients from the soil. Uh, land. Horseshoe shrub. Thermal lily. All right. C. This is the important part. Crescent moon coral? No. 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 Where is my... I never scanned. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Tabla coral. So I don't have any information on table coral. That's not good. <laughs> I was hoping to uh, scan it. Oh, yeah, the sea truck. This is the new thing we're going to be making. Crush depth. Oh, okay. It only goes to 150 to start. That's about what the sea moth could do, right? Two times replaceable power cells. That's kind of cool. It gives all of this uh, information. I love how it says one plus. Like, there was an implication this game was uh, multiplayer. Huh. Oh, well. I was hoping to use that to... Huh. Oh, the modification station, which I do not have yet. It... Oh, but we did scan it. So we can make a modification station, right? It's an interior thing. Yeah. We just don't have diamonds. Uh, so enameled glass that requires diamonds, so that makes sense. And then level three requires nickel and kyanite, the classic. The super, super, super depths. That's actually a good looking picture. I'm assuming that's like the permafrost. So that's meant to be like it brings you to as low as physically possible. I wonder if there's an equivalent to the Cyclops in this game. I do know there is a prawn suit. I am looking forward to making my prawn suit again. We need Prawny 2.0. And I really don't want to Google where is top tabla corral I also just don't have a good sense of direction probably due to all the freaking fog but like if I just head north from the base uh, I should hit a wall okay and I do 
And I think this is where we came from initially. Like, over in this direction. Ooh, ice bitters. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we came from this direction. Okay, we probably came from that direction, taking a look at it and being real. Is that a volcano? I think that's a volcano. All right, we've been there. We know what Delta Station is like. Maybe we just swim towards Delta Station. Looking for Tabla Coral. Maybe there's some table coral uh, along those uh, scary vents. How's our inventory looking? It's fine. Why are you not Indian? What do you mean by that? Because I'm American? Alright, there's the big scary fish. Which means we can look in the area for some table coral now. Actually, I don't know if he's a fish or a mammal or a bear or... It doesn't matter. I don't want to be anywhere near him. Table coral. Well, there's a lot of sea truck fragments now that we have the sea truck built. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I guess by built, I mean we have everything discovered. But I'm not seeing any table coral. Titanium. Titanium. Heard a sound. Got a little scared. Oh, that's the scary thing. Well, let's just keep our distance from that. I don't think it's following us. It would probably make a sound. Man, it swims like a bear. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of things that we can scan and pick up, but I'm not seeing any table coral. Dang it. What are you? You look kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. But I think you're just a type Oxygen. of fish. Alright. Oh, we made it back to Delta Station. Woo! <laughs> uh, let's drink some water. Let's save the game. I don't know what a Trinity Barnacle is, but let's scan it. Good luck. Ooh. What is all of this? Can I cut this? No. Why is this red? Oh, is this fra just glitching through the system? Oh, <gasps> lithium! Oh, let's see if we can find another piece of lithium just hanging around. Warning. Uh -oh. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Never mind, going back to the surface. We will take our gift of lithium. Hmm. I don't like not knowing where table coral is. What's up with the purples? Uma Royal. 
Wait, is this more lithium just hanging around? Yo! I thought we were going to struggle to find that. I hate how we're struggling to find a freaking table coral plant. It's a different game, Crit. Just because it was one of the most common, easy to find starter area plants in base Subnautica doesn't mean that's the same for below zero. All right, note, something doesn't want me to go that way, so I will listen and not go that way. Oh, where, why are there three? Where the hell did they come from? Why couldn't I see them before? Well noted, uh, be careful around this island. Granted, that's also the direction the game wants me to go, so damn it! <laughs> All right, well, I came to this island hoping to find table coral. Instead, we got lucky and found lithium. I see two more over in that direction. Let's see if I can avoid any and go this way. Thermos. I see it. I d I'm glad they roar to let me know they're in the area instead of roar when they're attacking, but... Oh, am I jumpy because of it? Man, look at all the stuff in here that isn't table coral. More scannable stuff that we already have. And we don't have enough space in order to carry more. That sucks. What's this? Is this a sea truck? It is. Oh. Now we get to see what those things are. At least they didn't, like, instantly try to attack me. So that that's cool. That Warning. I like that. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah. <sighs> All right, let's hit an oxygen bubble. Okay, this actual lack of table coral is starting to get annoying. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Understood. And the most scarce of resource is table coral. And you know, if I was a betting man, which I'm not, there is probably a piece, uh, just an entire section that's just nothing but table coral, and I just don't know where it is. Hmm. Well, it wasn't where we were. Let's try exploring the other direction then. So more of this eastern direction. We do eventually need to go over there, so let's explore over here. See if we can find some table coral. Maybe it's in caves? Maybe if I start poking my head into, like, these places, I'll find some table coral. We've almost drained an entire sea glide battery. What is this? What are you? Leave me alone. Wait, don't you spit the ice ice? What is this? Frost anemone hard. Ah, uh, my inventory's full. Uh, actually, let's see. What is it? It's food! Oh, that's awesome! It's a good amount of food and water. Uh, did it have a... It had to have a, uh... 
like timer on it, right? It does. Oh, that's cool. It's a quick source of food and water. Base is that way. All right, get our oxygen back. It's a nice blizzard outside. The monkey. Monkey. <laughs> Big icicles with a frozen fish. Then be out. Ah! Wait, why does the symbiote look scary? Please, game. Stop with the silence. I know they do it on purpose, but damn. little drop-off section. What's this? Uh, I, I, I can't take the item. My inventory is full. What? Why is there a floating play button? Can I scan stuff? A flare? I don't care about flares. Or nutrient blocks, for that matter. Ooh, what's this? My inventory's full. Aw, oh, damn it. That means it was something I already had. Warning. 30 uh. seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh-huh. All right. We're going to go back. Buy a symbiote. Hi, little redfish. I wonder what it was. Like, the game's just not going to tell us that, like, oh, by the way, you already had this, so too bad. What What did I go out of my way and accidentally discover that you could have given me? I want to Let me know my mistakes. I will never get better unless you tell me what I did wrong. Man, they just put so many weird, small sounds, followed by very large, big sounds. It's like they knew this game was going to be a horror game the whole time. <gasps> I thought this was table coral. Is it table coral? Can I cut it like table coral? No. <laughs> it's sad. I push my. I would push my sad button, but but but. Ugh. Let me actually make that sentence. But my toggle buttons do weird things, Subnautica. Actually, I've never checked this. Convert to custom game mode. No. Uh, graphics, keyboard, keyboard. Do they have my F buttons tied to things? No, so I actually can't even unbind them. Things like uh, the F8 key, for example, is report a bug. Uh, but F8 is also how I turn on my angry eyes. Uh, maybe I should have done what I did with my uh, color changes and done double bounds off of the F keys. I might have to do that. What if I rebound all of my uh, key or my toggles to the numpad as double buttons? That way they wouldn't interfere with anything ever. And then I wouldn't have to worry about pressing like F buttons. Because the numpad doesn't exist on all keyboards, right? Which is why uh, numpad uh, commands are never baseline in games. Especially like professional keyboards or quote unquote pro gaming keyboards. Uh, they're called normal keyboards where they just look like a, a laptop and they're nice and small. Some people like them. I don't. I like my massive full size mechanical keyboard with all the extra buttons and the uh, wrist rest even. Granted, if you took a picture of, like, my desk and my desk mat, it is not pretty. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, I love my desk mat. It's a Monster Hunter World. It's got a Nerd Gigante on there because I'm a huge Monster Hunter fanboy. And this fanboy just wants a goddamn piece of table coral. <laughs> uh. I am... Hmm, let's say... Let's say 10 minutes... Wow, we're already an hour in. All right, by the end of the stream, we're going to uh, build the sea truck. Now, that could be in the next five minutes. That could be in the next hour. But before we end the stream, we are building a sea truck. It all comes down to where the fuck is a piece of tabla coral. And there are three ways that we can find a piece of tabla coral. First way. <gasps> is exactly what we're going to do. Let's go. Well, the first way was we're going to stumble upon it accidentally and we're going to keep it and we're going to be happy and yay. Um, as you can see, that's exactly what happened. Uh, I don't even want to. I'm just going to leave you guys hanging. I'm not going to explain what number two and number three are. Because <laughs> I'm a prick. Or I'm the streamer and I'm the one in charge and I, I make the rules and the rules say I don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> I won't be mean. I'll tell you. It, it's nothing secret. Uh, option two was Googling and option three was phoning a friend. Ooh, actually, would that have even worked? Do I have the friend online? Uh, yes. Either of the friends that would have known the answer are online. And then we would have had another guest on stream, whether that be momentarily or for the rest. But all right, we now have everything. Sorry, I, I, people are talking outside my window and it, it, it spooked me. All right, we're gonna hit the save button. Mm. I need to take a drink, but also taking a drink reminded me that I also have to pee. So, have some lovely background music. Uh, I will return very shortly. Uh, please, please hold. I enjoy enjoy Rowan uh, dancing dancing in the music. I'm I'm just gonna hide out down here for a hot second. I, I'll be right back. Please hold. See, that wasn't too bad. <coughs> of course, I have as soon as I unmute is when I need a cough. And I go right here. <sighs> you know, I don't say this enough. I'm super impressed with the technology that we've developed over the years to be able to allow VTubing. But more importantly, the ability to allow VTubing to the common person. I was about to say I didn't spend a lot of money on my streaming setup, but that's not true if you take it all into account. I have a full-fledged gaming PC, expensive. Um, I did invest into the fun items like the Stream Deck. Uh, I also got a decent microphone. It's actually a budget microphone, as a matter of fact. Uh, I don't... I don't list what I use for my um, setup at all, but prob maybe I should and uh, like preach to the uh, the fellow budget builders.
Sorry. Uh, I was noticing that the game was acting a little quiet, and I didn't know if that was I need to turn up the stream volume, and I need to say this shit out loud. It goes in my head, and then I just stare into the void. I contemplate thoughts. But what I should be doing is just speaking my mind so that you guys can hear what I'm thinking. But anyways, I'm very impressed with the technology, how streaming has become. Streaming's always been pretty uh, accessible to everybody uh, through things like OBS, Streamlabs, making wonderful platforms and relatively easy to understand. I'll admit OBS is, this is a lot, here's the bare bones. You can do anything, but it's not, I want to stream to YouTube, push this button. It's uh, please insert a stream key. Please set this up. Please link it this way. Play, please do all of this behind the scenes work, but it'll work. But with things like VTube Studio and getting an actual model, it's not that bad, especially with how many um, people are on Fiverr or Etsy willing to sell you a model for not that much. It's really appreciative because I love VTubing. I love being able to use this avatar, being able to, well, stream for you guys as crit. Like, this is outstanding for me. I used to be a flesh tuber, like, <sighs> flesh tuber, excuse me, an IRL streamer, I don't know, over a decade ago. It never took off because I was in the wrong mindset. I was trying to stream to become a professional streamer or a professional. I think I was streaming Hearthstone at the time. And I entered a few Hearthstone tournaments, but I never was good enough to become a professional. And when, like, the stream wasn't taking off after, I think, a month or two of effort, I felt disheartened and disappointed and gave up. I, I was in a bad mind space. Now look at me. Uh, and look at us. This community has grown over the past, uh, it's been over a year now. Yeah, I think February is my, um, my, my debut anniversary. And it's been so much fun. I've loved watching the channel grow. I loved meeting all of you new people. I've loved meeting all you returning people as well. Um, kind of getting a little off topic here from the uh, fact that we can actually make our sea truck, so we should probably get onto that. But I mostly just want to say thank you all. It's been an absolute pleasure and a shitload of fun. Uh, just growing the stream and becoming a better streamer, meeting more people. All right, sappy time over. We need a computer chip because we need an advanced wiring kit. I love how a wiring kit is like, here's a bunch of wires and an advanced wiring kit is here's a bunch of smart wires. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, now we need the enamel glass. We need to make a power cell. So let's... No, bring that back up. R. Let's swap it out. Turn off that. Put, put, put that away. And then we can make a power cell. Hell yeah. And look, we even opened up six spaces, which is actually incredibly needed because we didn't have the room otherwise. Uh, grab the three pieces of lead. And is that everything? No, we need the glass. Glass, glass. All right, to the surface. Let us climb aboard and make our sea truck. We got an achievement called trucking. What's it do? 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 Okay, I'm done. Sea track! Sea track! Why can't I get in my sea track? Ooh. Is this a door? Nope. Didn't, I didn't hear that. I did not hear that. Do I stand up in this? Whoa! Okay, so it feels sea mothy, which is what I was expecting. Unless you turn really fast. 
Huh. I don't remember the Seamoth controlling like this, though. Okay. We're gonna hit the save button. We have our sea truck. Uh, the only thing we don't have is a place to like dock the sea truck uh, to like give it more power. So I wonder, oh, actually uh, we also didn't get um, the ability to make modifications, right? Like here's just the straight upgrades. This is what we need. Why does it need enameled glass? That means we need diamonds. We have, we can make the plasteel ingot, but we can't make anything else. Damn it. I still want the, uh, 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 not fabricator tool. What, what am I looking for? Habitat builder. Ha ha. I got to the words. We need a habitat builder. AFAP. But all right. Uh, let, uh, Wait, we don't even have a repair tool, do we? Give me one second. That just occurred to me. How do I not have a repair tool? Because it, okay, it requires crystal and sulfur. I just ignored that. Let's, um, let's remedy my mistakes <laughs> and make ourselves a repair tool. Awesome. And I'm going to put it on four. And I don't really care for the mineral detector. I thought I was going to like this. I do not. All right. Everything's looking good. I am going to go follow the rule of thumb. Of carrying an extra battery on us at all times. So we need a singular copper. Excuse me. And I do not think we have uh, an extra, some extra plants. So let's go looking for plants in our new car. <laughs> get, 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 get it? Like those old TV shows from the 80s? Actually, it just occurred to me. When I say old, I assume most of you don't think about like the 80s or the 70s. Or even the 90s. You probably think of, like, the tw the 2000s and the 2010s. I'm really upset now. I like the way this controls, though. This is nice. I think I see what I need. Ribbon plants. I do. Is this one? No, but this is. And so are you. When I'm inside the sea truck, does it switch to temperature? No, I don't, I, I don't know what I saw, but okay. It did switch to temperature. I wonder if you can lose temperature or gain temperature or overheat or you know what I mean, um, while inside the sea truck. All right, so I do have one concern so far. We're gonna hit save just cause it reminded me. Um, and it's a minor concern, but it's a concern nonetheless. We don't have a way to give the sea truck power right now. We see it has two power cells, which is nice. That's 400 total power. But outside of making more power cells, we currently don't have a way. Uh, the The sea truck is limited power. We don't have like a moon pool or a renewable energy source in order to plug into it. Okay, we're gonna make ourselves a backup battery. Because you always need a backup battery. I am not gonna make a backup power cell because we shouldn't run into any uh, long-term issues. If we notice the sea truck start starting to get low, we will just pilot it right back over here and do our best. But all right, we have a sea truck. We feel safe. And all, all before an hour and a half even. Hell yeah. All right, well, my goal, uh, what I wanted to do the stream is done. Uh, everything else now is bonus. We've discovered this before. 
Um, we didn't check. I'm gonna try something. Does this short circuit me? It hurts me, even through the sea truck. Uh, but it didn't like give or uh, remove my power, which is what I was mostly concerned about. Now, what is this thing, and is it going to attack me? It's colored like a threat. Doesn't that just look threatening? That was cool music, though. All right, so it's colored like a threat. I don't know if it is a threat. Uh, do we get out and figure that out? Whoa, is that a black bladder fish? Hold on. Oh, no. It was just the light. Anyways. Is that you making that sound? Are you threatening? Oh. That was not you making that sound. That was you making that sound. Okay. All right, so the ray isn't threatening. It's just colored like it is. One degree Celsius, just above freezing cold water. Where am I heading again? There. There's the Delta Station. So I just need to stay away from those guys. That shouldn't be a problem. What the hell is that? That giant lobster? Uh oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing it. I don't want to look. Oh. Okay. Um, I looked. <laughs> I'm not happy. Okay, uh, so it did do damage to my sea truck, but not a whole lot. So we're we're pretty tanky right now against these small things. So as long as it's not like, I don't know, 14 of them. We should be okay. Also, it looks like it took its bite and it left me alone. I'm gonna take a peek on the surface quick. What the fuck is that? We are not okay! We are not okay! <laughs> okay, uh, well, I figured out what the fuck that is. It's a threat! <laughs> is there another one? <laughs> okay, no, this is just the tiny one. Well, damn, we found the big one. Good lord. How do they expect us to get where's I can't see the uh Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh at myself. If I don't, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Well, good to know. Don't literally just go over there. There's a giant reaper-like creature in the area. Can you leave me alone, you giant sea bear? Okay, so there's actually a lot of threat where we are right now. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a crash fish. I thought it was something scannable. All right, so here's some lithium. Crash fish, please. I just want to find a way to be able to hop out safely. All right, Delta Station's literally just over there. Uh, those things are over there. Okay, I, I just got to risk it. If I stay back here, maybe they won't see me. Okay. And we're full health. It's like nothing happened. Ooh, I know where we are now. This is where we popped out and saw a bunch of these little guys. I just don't want to see the big one. Did 
ejecting stern of an astronautical salt transcove vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. I don't know what that means. Oh! Hey! Weird looking fish! Or sea bear. I don't know what to call you. Holy hell. Hmm. Take a quick food and water break. Oh, we could probably uh, unblueprint this now because we have it. Hopefully, we don't need to make another one. That would make me sad. Ah! Oh. <sighs> I got scared there for a second. I didn't know what was turning me. I I caught the corner of my ship, uh, and it turned me around. I thought a fish grabbed me. <laughs> All right, so we already know there is a giant sea whatchama, uh, this game's reaper in the area. How's our inventory look? We got room. Uh, can we fit our sea truck in here? It looks like this is supposed to not be for a sea truck, so we're gonna leave the sea truck. Warning, passing 100 meters. Yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Good to know. But there's stuff in here, right? Copper wire, I guess. Ooh, a battery. This will just spit me out. I need to not explore too far and be sure that I can get back to my sea truck in a timely manner. Ooh, laser cutter. That could be useful. Ah, and then there's some doors that need laser cutting. I see why this fragment is here. Oh, not all of the uh, ship is uh, under 100 meters. There is metal salvage galore, though. Holy shit. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen all right. remaining. I got the message. I will head back. It's down one more floor, right? So you have to click on top. That's a kind of annoying part. I will be honest. Ooh, copper wire. Titanium ingot just lying around? Hot oh, damn. Warning. Passing 100 meters. All right, and here's Oxygen another section. Decreased. All right, the bad news is I can't find that last laser cutter uh, piece. But wait, maybe this can? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It does sense it. I think the biggest problem is it's going to be on multiple floors. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Wow, already? I just got here, though. Oh, did I not fully ox uh, oxygenize myself in my sea truck? Well, it, it's pretty immediate, so it should have. Okay. So I think it's up a floor. can't tell if that's an entrance to the outside. There is no more up once we get to this third floor. 
And there's some roars on the other side, which means there's a sea bear nearby. And I do not want to tempt a sea bear into 30 here. seconds of oxygen remaining. Battery. All right. It looks like at least this entrance might be at its limit of usefulness. We may. What are you? Okay, he's small, but I know the big ones nearby and now I'm scared. There may be an entrance down here. <gasps> there is. Just don't arc on top of any of that stuff. Also, I seem to be injuring my, uh, my sea truck. All right, hop off oxygen. Wait, is that an entrance? Well, it is, but I wouldn't call it a good one. Wait, is this where we were? I feel like we've already been here. Yes. Yes, we have. Damn it. Warning, passing 100 meters. Ooh, a wiring kit. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. I don't know if I am going to be able to find the third laser cutter material through that entrance, at least. Maybe there's one on the right hand side. Maybe. Let's see what's in here. Uh, we did get in here. And there are no fragments nearby. Hmm. So there is one more fragment. seems to be just beyond here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Damn. It's making it seem like the last fragment is beyond the doors. Run low on water. Take a swig. Give it a save. Let's see if there is anything around. I mean, there's like fragments all around, right? Like, my God, there's metal fragments everywhere. Or metal salvage, excuse me. Metal salvage as far as the eye can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes one attack for me to understand that uh, in the sea truck, you are no threat to me. Now, the thing that's over there, that's another story. Ah! I bounced into something and it freaks me out because it turns me. There seems to be nothing up here. I don't have a good sense of where the back end of my sea truck is.
Damn. Well, we will just keep progressing. I kind of wish we would get the laser cutter, though. I don't want to give up. But unless there's a, a hidden entrance, like, down here. Which I'm not getting one. Nor am I finding the fragment. Damn, damn, damn. I am tired of hearing those roars, though. All right, let's, um... If I can find a quick entrance, I'll do one more lap around. Here's an entrance. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. <gasps> I need to open the, that up with a laser. Yeah, it, it's beyond the laser doors. Oh well. We tried. Don't want to risk uh, running out of oxygen here. And to my knowledge, yeah, it is out of three. I needed to check to see if it was out of two randomly. Because then we would have had it. Uh... Is this where we have to swim under the big giant fish? I think we discovered our first Leviathan. Um, that's sulfur? I don't know how rare sulfur is. Hey, it is. And that's all quartz. Keep an eye out for diamonds, because we might need... I'm just realizing that we can't go much deeper. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh. This is as deep as I can go right now. What the fuck is that? Actually, what's all of this? Wait, is that a friendly? Oh, it just ate a school of fish. Wait, it kind of looks friendly. It's playing peaceful sounds. Oh, it's friendly. Something's not. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. Okay, so we can't go there yet. Great. All of this just to find out that it's way too deep. All right. So we need beyond 150. Uh, meters in order to reach that area. Is this where we got attacked? No, this is the this is the ship. All right, so we're going to head to the docking station and then back home. Because I don't want to cross wherever that giant leviathan was. Ooh. However, let's drop a beacon on this thing. We have one. Because once we get the laser cutter, we're going to want to come back here. I keep running into things. <laughs> I think this was the original entrance we took. It is. Let's drop our beacon here. Also, let's repair. Get this thing nice and full health. Do 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 do. We do have a beacon. Yes. A name beacon. Big. My cat blocks is not. Big ship. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Man, I didn't even realize that. Or it didn't click for me that when it's like, 
one passing 100 meters your oxygen efficiency is going down I'm like oh i'll just hop in the ship then not realizing it only goes to 150. that does mean we might be able to find diamonds around this area because we do need diamond i'm gonna pick up a piece of metal salvage Never know when we're going to need all this titanium, but the answer is always. We do need diamond in order to make the next um, level of uh, depth. I don't like the fact that I'm skewed. All right, so there is Delta Station. Now we're going to do a little bit more exploring. Oh, actually, I know what we technically should be doing. Hold on. We're going to go back to Delta Station quick. Which sounds counterintuitive. But I A, want to just double check, make sure I didn't miss the uh, the builder thing. That I might have. I want to read the map quick. That's on the Delta Station wall. Where was that Delta Station base? Getting some heat. Oh, it's not over here, Jesus. Where's the base? And maybe I should have put a land beacon for this is where that base is. Is this is where we got jump scared. I'm surprised by the giant prawn suit. Ooh. Can I Skyrim it? Nope. <laughs> I still don't know how to get there. I'm going to take the gravity approach. All right, let's get to the top now. I've changed my mind about the base. This feels like the right way. Ooh, sulfur. Ah, here is the base. So we get inside. Heat stops. All right, so we are at Delta. There's whatever the hell this thing is. It's actually really close. Uh, and it is... So if I'm facing north, this is almost uh, perfectly aligned, actually. Uh, we need to head southwest. So that way is where we can find this. Um, we landed close to here, to my knowledge. Well, actually, let's see. Yeah, our base is directly north of Delta. So we, uh, this structure is about here. I don't know where the Omega or the Phi, or I think that's Omicron. Or whatever this is. I don't know what this base is. Um, but I have no idea how to get to Omicron either. Because we don't really have the ability to go back on land. Or actually, I don't think we've ever explored this part of the land. We came from this part to my knowledge. And then what the hell is all of this? 
This looks like places you can walk. Like, there's landing over here. Maybe this is supposed to tell us, like, the directions I should be going. I need to drink some more water. So those are our options. We can head straight north. We can look at straight west. I think the southeast is something I want to save for later. Just call it a hunch. Uh, we're going to call it a hunch because I'm going to call it fear. But maybe we should just discover this thing. Which, yeah, southwest of us, which is not pilot last known location. Okay. Now that we have that, where is the truck? All right, truck is north. The water drinking sound? Seriously? First of all, good eye, good eye. Welcome, Aspen. Secondly, seriously? <laughs> it's just sipping. Just very loudly. Right, our truck is there. Which to me implies we can do a parkour. To get to... Warm up in the hot springs. Deep to do to do. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, these are scannable. A scrub brush. The blue scrub brush. There is a way. Oh, have I gone this way? I'm all turned around. I was going to use gravity. Okay, so we're back to the north side of the island. Let's see if we can get to the southwest side of the island. Holy night time. You see how fucking dark it is? Yeah, southwest side of the island. Let's clean to the wall. Oh, oh, that's beautiful, actually. Yo, does anybody need a uh, wallpaper for their computer? Southwest side of the island now. So according to the map, the next area is pretty close to here, but I don't really want to explore at night. Instead, we're just going to have this nice lovely. Oh, the Aurora Borealis went away. Is that a horizon? What what's clipping the planet? How are we doing on time? We're not even at two hours into the stream yet. Oh, but in typical subnautica fashion, my uh internal fear and uneasiness is starting to climb. I'll admit, having a sea truck helps a lot. But I'm still a little on the scaredy side. Because I am a little scared. Yeah, we wee we. All right, hopping in the sea truck for warmth.
and we're going to do a little bit of exploring. I am so sorry, fish! I ran over the fish. I can't tell if... Okay, there's just a streak on my monitor. I, I saw a line going up and down. I'm like, what is that? Is that where I need to go? No, it was just a streak on my monitor. <laughs> don't want to go too far away from the island because of those sounds to be specific. Oh, there's stuff down here though. Would you look at that? I keep running over fish! So the question is then, oh, another rock lobster. Are you a threat? I don't want to find out, to be completely honest. Hmm. I need to be careful where I go as well. There's no sonar, there's no radar, uh, and I don't... Don't know what half the sounds mean. Oh, we do need to go down. Oh! <gasps> Look at this place! Ah! Why would you do that?! Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? You leave? You're gonna be a jackass, aren't you? <sighs> Maybe if I stand still. Maybe he only responds to motion. I think he's a jackass. He's gonna attack me again, isn't he? He doesn't hit very hard. Yep, he's gonna hit me again. He has the turning radius of the Earth. Anyways, can I fit my sea truck in here? Nope. Well, I, I guess that actually makes sense. I am at 145 meters, which is almost crushing depth for my Z truck, but. Yes, we're, Warning, passing 100 meters. We're just gonna pop Oxygen out. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What is everything in here? Okay, so we have some oxygen. We have a lot of depth. Oh God, there's so much stuff in here. What's this? Oh, <gasps> the moon pool. Hey, and the laser cutter fragment. Okay. What are you? Cryops. Are you? Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. That means 15 seconds of oxygen. So we need to hit the bubble. Great. There's a New down. Synthesized. Okay. So, good news, bad news. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Good remaining. news. We found the moon pool, which is actually incredibly useful. Uh, we also found the other laser cutter fragment. Oxygen. Bad news. <laughs> This guy is still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you stop being a prick? The Delta Station's that way. Big ship's over there. Let's head back. Yeah, our inventory's pretty full. Oh, because of this piece of metal salvage I picked up. Ooh, piece of lithium. 
Good will stop for that. And to repair. Let's head back and make our new laser cutter. And then we can head to the big ship and fully explore that. I think that'll give us uh, at least directive and direction of where to go next. Okay, that's just sea bear, whatever they're actually called, I don't know. I, I honestly don't feel like scanning them to find out. I wonder if this thing can go faster. It's not that it's slow. It's that we ran into uh, this game's Reaper and it scared the shit out of me and I would like to be able to move faster. Or have a prawn suit and punch it. One of the two. <gasps> Table coral. We understand how rare this is. Give me the frickin' coral. Table coral! See a table corral, take a table corral. <laughs> okay, so there is a moon pool in this game, which I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting. The fact that we can make upgrades at the uh, fabricator implies there isn't a moon pool or vehicle uh, upgrade station that we have to make. Or there isn't a moon pool uh, exclusive fabricator, which was going to be my other guess. The only thing we are missing, which, for lack of a better phrase, sucks, is the frickin' uh, tool that can actually make stuff. It needs diamonds! Ah! <laughs> Alright, so that probably means uh, we were right around the diamonds area and we have to explore it by hand. Son of a bitch. Why would I make a compass? I already have a compass. Oh, the answer is I don't make a compass. Just don't be a dingus. <laughs> okay. So to make this upgrade, what? We need a plasteel and some enameled glass. I'm going to make sure we don't have a plasteel just hanging around. That would feel bad. We do not. So let's make one. And then remember that we have it. Because we actually picked up this ingot um, and the lithium on its way. Rather nice. Uh, and store that. Now we will never lose it. Let's go. Uh, store the table coral. It's nice and rare. And then just dump some titanium in here because why not? We might have to go do a quick water run. Because we are starting to run a little bit low on food and water. Because we don't have a base yet. We don't have sustainable food. Excuse me. Ah. Uh. Okay. So we can't quite go back to the big ship. Ooh. This does remind me, however, what does it take to build a beacon? One copper and a titanium. Let's make three beacons and just bring them with us. Is there copper in here? There is three copper in here. So when we find really cool stuff, we can actually mark it. I learned this in base Subnautica. It's always good to have a few beacons on you. Hmm. All right. So what did we learn? We found the... We should probably mark it. All right, we're gonna head back to the Delta Station Dock Southwest area. Alien Distress Call Origin? What the hell is that? 
Is that where we were? We need to head more this direction, I think, in order to get to where we were. Because heading straight southwest from where we are, we're going to miss it because it's still on the Delta Station Dock Island. Did I just hit a fish? Yo, this sea truck turns hella without much influence. And it skews itself often. 300 meters away, probably a lot down. We probably can't take our sea truck there yet. I deserve that. I think it was... What is that? I think that's sea truck material. All right, we gotta go past the bears. Big ship, Delta Station. Yeah, we head this way. <laughs> is this Delta Station Island? This is Delta Station Island. Is this a grav trap? Nope, it's a rock. What hit me? Nothing. I'm just paranoid. Then off to the southwest here. Ooh. Ooh! There's some stuff up there. I also hear a bear. But I think it was here. Yeah, there it is. And there's already a bear. And now there's a new bear. Can I lure this bear out of here? I don't know what they're calling. I'm just gonna keep calling them bears. Can I like encourage you away? Like, if I ram you with the sea truck, does it make you mad? It does. <laughs> but it makes you mad in the right direction. Away! Copa? Kappa? Kappa? Mining site? Uh, alright. Um, well, we're gonna hop out. Warning. Passing 100 and we're meters. gonna drop a beacon. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Papa mining site. Perfect. We now have it marked. Hmm. I don't think we're. Actually, it is a mining site, right? There might be diamonds in here. I'm going to go take a quick look around with the sea glide. What is a rock grub? And can I pick it up? Oh! I thought it was the plant. Alien distress call is over there. See, there is a way in here by a thermal Warning. vent. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's hit the oxygen plant. Right, we run out of oxygen really quick. What does a rock grub do? Inedible grub. Great, can I just drop it then? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Aren't they being fun making noises? Oh, and then the rock rub goes and clings to the rock. Understood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. With our wonderful oxygen levels, we are going to go down. I want to see if there's anything we can find. It's passing 200 Morning. or something. Passing 200 meters. 
Yes. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. It means we do not have the oxygen levels in order to explore down there. Which sucks. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It does, however, mean um, what we actually want to do going up and exploring the thermal vents is on our list of uh, wants. And actually, can't we get to the thermal vents uh, from the outside? Maybe the sea truck is resistant to the heat? Heat and pressure is how diamonds are made. So I wonder if those thermal vents, like closer over here to the Delta Station, are actually right around here. All right, I want to see it erupt, and I want to see if it hurts us through the... Uh, through the sea truck. Doesn't look like it. However, does the sea truck take damage from these? Nope, it's just 32 degrees Celsius. It seems to be doing fine. Oh, 50 degrees. Okay. I'm not seeing any, like, just straight diamonds. This is a new rock, right? No, it's just limestone. in here? <gasps> we can! Okay, so it is possible to get our sea truck inside of the copper mining site. You just had to take the scenic route. Oh, it looks like there's prawn suit stuff. Alright, this is probably a prawn suit area then. Damn it! It's okay, Rowan. Not a diamond? Warning. Passing 100 meters. Yo, let's go! Efficiency decreased. Uh. Well, there are diamonds. Oh, no. Well, it was right to come back in here then, if there was a diamond on the wall. Um. Let's use the mining. Finder thing. Ron stab me in the side. Ron, get down. I know you just ate. I'm jealous of you. Uh, let's put the. Where are you, mineral? Get the shit out of me. Mineral finder. Mineral finder. Mineral finder. Diamond. Diamond. <gasps> Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Where the hell is the diamond? Well, it's up. Oxygen. Yep. There it is. Sorry, fish. It looks like there are no other diamonds in this area. Ooh. Hold your tongue. Is 
Down on the outside? I think it's on the outside. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright, let us escape. And let us go hunt down some diamonds. And I sound like a Minecrafter. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we're gonna get out. Oh! That's a shitload of diamonds! Well, hell yeah! Base? Plenty. All right. Um, that was a good haul of diamonds. Holy shit. Okay, I think we got hella lucky. All right, now we just gotta get lucky again and get the hella out. I think there might be stuff over there. I thought I saw a diamond on the ground. I was gonna go for the diamond if there. If there was a diamond on the ground, I was gonna go for it. Okay. So let's see. We are looking for there. That one. That one leads out. All right. Oops. Let us head back to base. Oops. We are still missing the ability to actually make a base. Which is, I'm gonna be honest with you, borderline embarrassing. What are you? Warning, passing 100 meters. Fragments. Okay. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Is that ray going for me? Was the scary ray not friendly? Okay, we made some great progress. I wanted in this stream to just get the sea truck. But I think before stream is gonna end, because yeah, we still have like a half hour or 45 minutes left roughly. That's about as much, uh, that would be a good stream today. It's hard for me to do long Subnautica streams because of fear. <laughs> Hold on. Rowan has decided to climb somewhere he's not supposed to. Hey, Rowan, can you get down? Oh. You want me to put your uh, larger cat tree in here? Will that make you happier? I know you just want love and attention. Uh, he climbed on my lap and now wants hugs. Maybe I'll put your uh, larger cat tree in here. I never thought of that. So Rowan has three cat trees, one pretty much for each room. Uh, I bought him a medium sized one when I first adopted him because I didn't know how he would like cat trees. The cat I had before Rowan, maybe it was because uh, Murphy, the cat before was 16, 17 years old, but he never liked cat trees. So I didn't want to go over the top. Uh, but Rowan loves cat trees. So then I got him a giant one. And before that, I actually got him a very medium sized small one because I wanted to put one next to my desk so that he could always have a place to sit. Unfortunately, he doesn't like to sit. He likes to use the cat tree to climb on me, which is not something I can always handle. But he is a lovey, a loving little boy. If there was a way for him to like sit on my lap and then he could just lay down and that would make him happy, that would be fine. But he wants to climb all up on my shoulders, uh, headbutt me constantly, which is just adorable. But he also wants to be held. Hey, bro. He just sneezed a little. Which, for Rowan, is kind of normal. He uh, he is constantly congested and has uh, upper respiratory problems. Because of the feline herpes he's positive with. 
not the easiest way or not the best way I should have said that. He is feline herpes positive, so he is susceptible to just congestion, uh, upper respiratory issues, sneezing. But he just cleaned his sinuses with that sneeze. Good boy, Rowan. That's a good boy. Here, I'll give you pets. That's a good boy. Which is yet another reason, though, because of the sneezing. It's hard for... I'm going to hit the save button. It's hard for me to have him just, like, sit on top of my uh, lap all the time. Yeah, maybe I'll move the uh, medium-sized cat tree into... Uh, into my gaming room, into my streaming room. Because then Rowan will have a more comfortable place to sit and climb and explore. Because right now he climbed on top of uh, the other office chair just so he could stare out the window a little. Okay. So let's hop in here. We're going to hit the save button again. And I'm going to Play some background music because I need to run to the bathroom one more time. Uh, so uh, I'm going to quick hide out down here. Uh, please hold. I will be back in a hot second. Okay. I have returned. Ah! Hold. I seem to have ripped the thing off my face. All right. Now I'm back. Now we're good. Drink some more water. It's time to crack into our large filtered water. We also picked up three batteries. Oh, no, we made one. We picked up two. That's awesome. So much cool stuff. All right. What were we going to make? A sea truck upgrade. We have the plasteel, which means we need enameled glass. How do we make enameled glass? Do we have lead? I can make the glass, but do we have lead? I think I used all my lead before. Oh, no. Well, we have titanium. Damn it. Please tell me there's lead. I don't want to have to look and remember what I have to open in order to try to get lead. I see one piece of lead. So that's one piece of enameled. We need to go hunt down some lead. Hey, Rock. Ion cube. Wait. So. Will it tell us about the rocks that could give us lead? Chance of copper, chance of copper. Wait, does everything give titanium and just has a chance of something else in this game? Is that how it works? All right, so we can make, did I pick up quartz? Nope. <laughs> there quartz in here, quartz, quartz. We can make some enameled glass, one piece of enameled glass, as a matter of fact. So this is for the depth module, but we can also try to make the, not repair tool, the laser cutter, which we have everything for. Uh, do we have a dead battery? No, we have lively batteries. I am going to force this. But I don't want to accidentally take a good battery. So we are going to swap out our C glide with a full. 
and then we are going to create our laser cutter. So awesome! We can now go back to the laser cutter area. You know, I probably deserve that, that it didn't come with a full battery because I gave it a bat or I gave it a battery that sucked. So that makes sense. You need a battery because it has a battery. That's actually brilliant. And that's okay. We're not going to use this too often. Uh, maybe just in that area. And then we'll discover stuff. Maybe like the, 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 the thingy making tool. It makes sense to me. Shut up. <laughs> the uh, habitat builder. Okay. So we need lead. Uh, handy dandy info thingy. Survival. No. Tech. Equipment. No. Research. Geological data. Silver and titanium is in Argentine. Puma Royal. Limestone. Titanium and copper and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. Titanium and copper. Uh, ore vein. Resources behind loose rock. Scattered wreckage. Nope. Fumaroil. These blister-like fumaroils are vents for steam and volcanic gases that cycle through stages of accumulation and release in hidden chambers deep beneath the ocean floor. Gas mixture emitted by a fumaroil typically contains carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide, sourced directly from bodies of magma. The vibrant, violent explosions, yes, seen here, get their distinctive purple hue from the additional presence of gaseous iodine in the mixture. That doesn't help me. Essential for advanced fabrication. Cool, uh, but I want to know where is lead? <laughs> How much room do we have in our inventory? Enough. All right, it just means, uh, let's see. Everything over there is the south. I'm gonna try heading east because east, if I remember right, is where we discovered... Is this more limestone? Yes. I'm gonna scan the rocks that we come across. Cause there's a sandstone rock. Uh, there's also that like black shale looking rock, but it's not shale. I know we found a good amount of materials. Oh, sea glide fragment when we were in the sea monkey nest. Which I believe was to the east. Maybe I'm wrong? I thought the sea monkey nest was right around here. And I see I'm only finding a bunch of sandstone. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. All right, sea truck are not welcome down there, I can see. Whoa, that's kind of kind of pretty. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is not the best source of lead. <laughs> All right, squeeze in anyways. You know what? I'm going to leave. I feel like I'm going to get stuck down here. I don't know. Call it a hunch. <laughs> That's a creature egg. Man, I thought that was a piece of diamond. Nope, just a piece of quartz sitting at the surface. 
I don't understand. There's no way you can get a diamond way up here. But nope, my brain still says sharp rock equals diamond. Ooh, that's not a piece of sandstone. Oh, Argentine though. Damn it. What gives lead? What's this? Oh, mobile vehicle bay. Uh, I was excited to get that before, but now that I have it, it's kind of bleh. That looks like a piece of Argentine. We're starting to close in on the north northeast area. Maybe we can start looking for more um ore deposits though, like hidden in the wall somewhere. Those were really helpful. And that might have some lead. Whoops. It's not like we're gonna run out of oxygen like we were scared of before. What is that? Eh, it's just more limestone. Is there anything up here? Oh! <gasps> Is. Hold on. What's this place? Is that a frozen river? Or a frozen waterfall? Apparently, I can't get to it. Oh, it is. This is kind of cool. What did we discover here? Oh, is this where we started? No, this is something new. Snowman. Ah, destroy snowman. Can I take any of the stuff? Okay, I can just pick up snow. It's no wonder. Oh, this is just zero. I thought this was Omicron this entire time. Oh, you guys see what I see? I'm freezing. But also a prawn suit. Oh, so that means we're in the northern section. Null. I need to get to a thermal thermal lily. Hey, this is kind of awesome. I didn't think we'd be able to get here already. So we got two large room. <gasps> we still need to figure out how to make a door, though. Oh. Door. <coughs> Large room partition. Ooh. And a water filtration machine. Yeah. This is still very annoying that we don't have a way to actually build these. Also, I just realized I walked into an unknown room and started scanning immediately. Ooh, a vending machine. What if it, there was something in here and it just started attacking? 
Altera PDA, motivational, motivational poster. posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. <gasps> Window? This poster is technically contraband. <laughs> the poster is technically contraband. That's hilarious. I can't open that one. But what is this? Oh, potato. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. Its name is Potato. Can I have this? Do I already have this? What is all of this? There's a lot of PDAs in this area. Is she right? Could there be architects living on this planet? Terra really messed up Data if box. they got that one wrong. A control room, whatever the hell that is. Signal location uploaded Ooh. to PDA. Okay, cool. A signal. See, there's my sea truck. Uh, pilot last known. There's something beyond there. I can't read it anymore. But cool, an ion cube. We haven't used those yet this time around. Uh, please, game, just can you let me know? How do I get the uh, uh the, the the builder thing? Please, how do I? I just want to know how to build. I also need two more prawn suit scans. That's very important to me. But like, it's cool that like a moon pool exists, a scanner room exists. We can operational hub for observing and managing habitat, power, structural integrity, and aesthetic design. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. And a sea truck dock. Docking bay for sea truck plus any attached modules. What? What? High power and structure. High power and structure requirements. Okay. That's actually true. One thing I am noticing: three snowball, a rebreathe, and an O2 tank. <laughs> Ooh, I wasn't able to use that rebreather though. Um, I don't have like. Look at the inter okay interior installation. I don't know how to make aerogel. Great. Vehicle upgrade console. Nope, one exists. I was wrong. I notice how I don't my exterior modules doesn't include a power source. Like it's cool that I know how to make all of these. I'm glad the multi-purpose room is just stuff. Glass compartment, L compartment. Notice how I just can't make normal compartments yet. All the scanner room upgrades. Are kind of the same. We're working on this. We need our piece of lead, and then we can get that upgrade. Uh, we don't have any rubies, nor do I remember how to make synthetic fibers, which I think is still rubies. We're not quite there yet, but we still cannot just make a base. But we're discovering everything needed to make a base. Gel sacks and rubies, of course. Why wouldn't it be? What is this? Okay. Welcome to outside again. Are there any other pieces of prawn suit that I can scan? Like their arms? Pick up snow. God damn it. That, that had my hopes up. I do get the feeling, though, that if we stay on this uh, null point... We will find our prawn suit pieces. And by I have a feeling, it's I have a hope. <laughs> Can I drive this? Nope. I'm not certified, apparently. This looks like a uh, rocket landing. Thermal lily down here. Uh, we need food and water. Food. That's the last of our water. That's not good. Let's hit save, now that I think about it. I love the little cute little penguin. 
for this loading screen. <laughs> what the? Okay, we found some alien stuff. It's not freezing cold in here. What the hell? All right, an alien door. We're probably stuck, that means. Can we harvest stuff? Nope. Mm -hmm. Alien containment door. Uh, what is this for we can make a coffee machine right <clears throat> I have returned welcome back villain uh, we made some good progress uh, I just want to make sure we can make a coffee machine please hold yes we do have a coffee vending machine synthesizes hydrating caffeine free coffee caffeine free okay so it is hydration this caffeine is a diuretic. I think that's what it's called. It uh, pulls water from your body. Red bed. Uh, how do we get through here? This is it. Well, I can't get through it. Just so you know, I exploded more nuclear weapons in space. In Minecraft, I assume, but good for you. Yeah, there's nothing we can do with that. I'm assuming it has something to do with this, but I have no idea what to do with this. Grant's hooked up to this, which doesn't seem to do anything. I don't think we can go through here yet. Oh, well. It looks like I was also wrong. How do you know it was in Minecraft? I assume it was in Minecraft. It, it could have been IRL. Yeah, but let's pretend it was in Minecraft and only in Minecraft. You know, j j just for fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay so we only discovered two uh prawn suit scans up here that's unfortunate i was hoping we would get the rest and it looks like that was the only other point we were able to really explore it looks like that stops uh ooh. oh that stops and we scanned everything we could I did do it IRL. I can't keep a secret. Ah, no, that's okay. We'll just keep telling people it was in Minecraft. I hear that's what people do nowadays. Hmm. What was that? Those plants? Just phasing in? Null quarters. Oh! Power cell charger! Hey! There was a reason to come back here. Quarters. Can I get in here? Ooh. Dr. Samantha a U. Nameplate. Nameplate. Lillian Bench. Single bed. I promise I'll stop just, you know, saying everything. So many posters to pick up all the time. Oh, sir. Ooh, a question mark. Interesting. Architect structures. Wait, what did I pick up then? Was this... Sam's space? Oh! What was she doing all the way out here? 
Aw, it's salmon potato. Um, can I take this? Poster for some kind of robot? Greenhouse? <gasps> Greenhouse? Indoor grow bed? Lantern tree? Ooh. An old lantern fruit. Ooh, it gives me body heat. Oh, it drains water, though. What if I pick one, though? Food and body heat. All right. Dang it. I say dang it, but I mean, yay. They're great. Multi-purpose room glass dome. I said I would promise, like, just saying everything, and I still am. Damn. Water is the part that is the most concerning to us, and it looks like that's not what lantern fruit can help with. All right. Ooh, a locker. I guess this comes baseline. Once we actually get our uh, building capabilities that we don't have yet. What are you? Sea glide. Really? <laughs> you think I made it out here without a sea glide? Well, thanks, game, for being thorough of just in case. Oh! <gasps> A builder. New blueprint synthesized. You wouldn't have guessed, but I'm playing chess. You're right. I would not have guessed that. Good on you. Oh, we finally have the habitat builder. So now we can make uh, the foundation, the compartments. We already have all of this stuff. Reinforcement, great power transmitter, and solar panel. We gotta get going. Yes, I'm aware we're freezing cold. Yeah, probably shouldn't have stood in a blizzard and then talked about all the building stuff that we obtained. All right, we can get back to the sea truck. We can finally start building a base. was so worth it. As a matter of fact, let's drop a beat. What the hell was that? You little shit. Here, come here. Oh, I can pick him up, but I, oh, I can't. I'm gonna cook him. Uh, no point landing. Where's my truck? Um, hold on. We're indoors. How is it hailing? All right, so now we have two things over there. Alien and ancient something. are we doing on time? We're doing okay, I guess. All right, we're going to head back to our base. And actually, we're going to build a base kind of near the Delta Station, because that's kind of the center of the map, right? It'd be nice to be kind of equidistant away from everything. But we still need lead. All right. So here are our goals. Uh, we're going to build a makeshift base, a very basic one, uh, because we have things like power cell chargers. We have the ability to make power. Um, so we're just going to make a nice tiny base because we can't actually build anything in this current base. So I'm actually just going to head barely towards the Delta Station, maybe the end of this reef. And we're going to build ourselves a basic base with good storage. Um, and yeah. 
We're also going to get a piece of lead, and we're going to upgrade the sea truck. Those are going to be our two goals before stream ends, uh, because three-ish hours is kind of what I was aiming for for stream, which is what we're approaching. Um, so I will get those done, and then we'll end stream. So maybe another half hour or so left. I was about to say, hey, we also have the ability to make water because we... Can I cook this? I'm going to cook them. <laughs> it cooked. How edible are you? You're okay. A clean, lean meal tastes like reconstituted lobster. I actually can understand what that tastes like. Uh-huh. An ion cube has a charge? 300,000? What the? F Wait, what? What? Aerogel is now on the menu. Uh, cured symbiotes on the menu. Habitat builder. All right, so we need a computer chip. Did we store enough table coral in order to make another computer chip? We did not. We only have one. We need to go find another one. We have to go look for lead anyways. So that's not that big of a deal. Uh, but we also need to go uh, hunting for water. One. Two. Three. Four. Water. Five. Six. Six should be enough. At least for now. Ion cubes have charge? I know, right? That's what I was thinking. And I mean, they have them all, but I wonder what they're used for then. Because that implies to me that we can use ion cubes to like recharge batteries somehow. Or maybe like the power, maybe there's like a thing where it's use ion cubes as a uh, resource. Maybe if we like throw it into the, uh, what's it called? The bioreactor. Maybe it will just have that much charge forever. Water, water. All right, we're good on water for now. We have, well, we only have a hundred water. Probably alien batteries. That would make sense. All right, we have like no room. <laughs> Let's store the miscellaneous stuff. Um, We need to get a piece of table coral and we still need lead. I believe all of that can be found towards the south. But keep an eye out for me for table coral. That's going to be one of the harder things for me to see. Lead, I'm just going to have to get lucky and find whatever rocks drop lead. I think that's a new rock. Galena outcrop. What do you drop? Lead. It was titanium. Okay, Galena is what we need. Hi. You little boy. Is that Galena? It is. All right, we got a piece of lead. Uh, I think we needed one more? Or was that just it? Doesn't matter. We're going to keep digging. Hmm. Most random description of Subnautica video ever? What do you mean? Are you talking about mine or did you find one? Or do you mean I, uh, ion cubes have charge? You making fun of me? Am I exclamatory ways? My inventory's full. Damn it. Uh, drink some water, I guess. Lead? There's the lead. All right, well, if the inventory's full, um, finding a piece of table coral is not going to be very good for us. Uh, we still need to find it, though, and they're really hard to see. They don't spawn very 
frequently, do they? Going to be around here. There's a piece. All right, is there something I can live without? I guess a piece of titanium? Yeah, I'll just drop a piece of titanium. Table coral is way more important. Yours, it says I can already feel my heart speeding up and my butt clenching. I don't remember naming this video that. Oh, wait, you're talking about the description of the video. Yeah. That is my... Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good description. I have thalassophobia, so even just the thought of Subnautica starts to make my heart race and starts to make me tense up. A classic butt clench moment with my heart pounding. I thought that was accurate. But all right, let us double check to make sure we have everything. Uh, good, there's some gold up here. We might need it. Or actually, we guarantee need it. Might my ass. We need to make, what were we making again? <laughs> All right, I know we were building a, oh, we have a battery charger too. I wonder how that got there. Who cares? We need it. How do we make everything? A lot of quartz, a lot of titanium, a lot of some, some copper. Sea truck dock, I have no clue what that is. That's okay, we'll, we'll make it in time. Docking bay for sea truck plus any attached modules. I have power and structure requirements. <laughs> we have some lithium. Uh, actually, how much lithium do we have? Two? We have two. Okay, we can't make some reinforcements. We want to make... Where to go? Habitat Builder. Nobody butt clenches even the Lassophobia people playing Subnautica? What do you mean? Except you for some reason, and why is my chat not showing that up? I don't know what you're talking about. A butt clench moment is a classic form of tensing up. Whether that's through fear, whether that's uh, trying something with anticipation, like you're trying to make a big jump in Mario. It is... I think it's the other way around. I think you have never had a butt clench moment. And you are the one on the outside. I'm assuming YouTube is uh, not showing the chat yet because it wants to make sure the word butt is okay. It should be fine. I'm sad that's not popping up on stream. Do, 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 do. Enameled glass. Why do I need an enameled glass again? Something to do with my sea truck. That. All right. Uh, I need a battery. Do I have an extra battery? Well, I do. And I now know to leave it at full charge. See, now it popped up on screen. YouTube just wanted to make sure that nothing weird was happening with the word butt. It showed now. Yeah, took its sweet ass time. Okay, so I have some enameled glass. Um... I gotta find a better way to like organize my space here. So I can put a copper wire away, take this. Uh, I do have a wiring kit already. That, that's kind of helpful actually. Uh, we need to make a computer chip, which I think I have the pieces for. I do. Let's make it. And we already have a wiring kit. So that means we can make our habitat builder. Let's go. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Heck yeah. All right. So now we have our habitat builder. 
we're happy, we're happy, we're mother being happy. You can construct sea bases from raw materials. Thanks. Advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. I'm not gonna lie, what went through my head was no bed, no storage, no bitches. Uh, careful. Careful how you phrase things. But yes, the um, uh, AI in this one does have an Indian accent. Let's see. Uh, now we need the module. I do know we have a lithium or a plasteel in here. Uh, we need two quartz. We'll need the plasteel. Because now we need to make the glass and then the enameled glass. Which we should. We do have everything for a piece of enameled glass. Which means we can make a depth upgrade for our sea truck. Hell yeah. How do I install it? <laughs> I probably need the moon pool for that now that I think about it. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Uh, it's okay. We have the moon pool. And we have the means of making a moon pool because we made our habitat builder. All right. Only thing left to do is grab all the material and move it to a base that we have yet to build. Um, but a base requires titanium. So let's grab us some titanium. We have some copper. We have some lead. We have some silver, lithium, crystalline sulfur. Um, I'm going to bring one piece of gold with us. I'm going to store a titanium and I'm going to grab a piece of gold from the locker above. Just because I have no idea what everything needs. Can I install? Oh, I can install upgrades right here. All right. 150 was its net 300. All right. Now we can actually go to this pilot last known location. Um, but look at all that stuff over there. And then we still have null point landing over there to the north. So we are going to head towards the direction of Delta Station. And right before the thermal vents, we are going to build ourselves a tiny little base. Hold on. Does the sea truck have a storage capacity on it? No. Oh, well. Stuff in that direction. Stuff in that direction. Everything is going every which way. We learned the external upgrade mechanism in the OG game with the prawn suit. True. Yes, we did. But for some reason, I always thought it had to be in the uh, moon pool. That's the word I was looking for. But you're right. It, it was external. Okay. All right. So that's the edge. So I'm going to decide to build a base right around here. Because uh, I don't want to build a base where sea bears are constantly around. I'd rather be able to go in and out of the base rather easily. You know, we could actually build it, build it down here, now that I think about it. Ooh, what's the shinies? Hold on. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Is this where I was supposed to discover my first sea truck piece? Oh, table coral. We don't have room. No. What is this, though? What did we stumble across? New blueprint synthesized. Oh. Well, there's the Builder Fragment. Oh. He's kind of scary. Cough. I can't tell if this is a dome or open. It's a dome. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, let me hop in. 
Okay, so this is where I could have learned how to do the builder. Which, that makes sense. It's around building stuff. And a bunch of table coral. Um, how, I hit my head. However, again, I, I don't want to build where there's threats I have to worry about. So, unfortunately, that means I'm going to go to the surface. Also, without a rebreather, which I still don't know how to make, um, there's not a whole lot of point of building deep. Okay. So, this is kind of central. Where would be a good spot? <coughs> I'm feeling right around here. What's on the surface? A snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, let's, um, it is only 200 meters away. And mm -hmm. I want to get some distance so that it's not too close, but I also don't want to venture into uh, threat land. Point landing. This is kind of east ish. Oh, more stuff. Well, I'll decide it. I'll just build right here. Is this solid? Very apparently. All right. I was hoping to find something a little more stable to build on, to be completely honest. But I know if I go over here, we're going to start going into... Yeah. Threatening territory. Hmm. Why is it so hard to find a spot? I'm not even like we're going to build a giant base, so it doesn't even have to be perfect. Also, what do we need to build a foundation? Because a foundation is going to be important. That's exactly what I was afraid of. <laughs> it needs lead, which we don't have. But here's a good starter spot. I'm curious. And I just... Flashing light kind of freaked me out a bit. Can I just build an eye compartment to start? Like, it's not too structurally sound, but I can. I need a piece of quartz. Penguin. You know what? I'm also going to drop a beacon above it. Just for... I don't want to forget you reasons. Starter base. There we go. There's got to be a piece of quartz around here, right? I can't believe I didn't uh, remember to bring quartz with me. I think there's a lot of quartz in the kelp areas. The mobility on this sea truck is outstanding. Is that a grab trap? And I see a piece of quartz. Nice. We'll pick up an extra. Okay. And it's close to the... Oh, yeah, we actually really wanted to build the base close to the surface because we need to give it power. There's a piece of quartz under the base. <laughs> Alright. Build a hatch. Alright. Basic base. And let's give it some power. There we go, everybody. We have a basic base. Melissa, good eye, good eye, and welcome. Did you fall asleep or something? Isn't it really late for you right now? Or really early, one of the two? 
Okay, now that we're inside, what other power structures can we build? We could build a bioreactor, but we would need a bigger space for that. That's okay. Partition door, vehicle upgrade, partition rooms, bunch of inside stuff. Specifically a locker is what I'm interested in building, which needs more quartz. Yes, I fell asleep playing Borderlands. Good, good game to do that too. Man, now I want to play Borderlands. All right, we just need to pick up all the quartz we can find. I ran into the wall. A very nice basic starter base. Huh. Okay, we need some food and water. There we go. Oh, right, we need lead. I need to build a actual, like, foundational base. Uh, what do we need in order to make, like, a moon pool? More lead. A multi-purpose room is just a bunch of titanium. We could probably attach that. Assuming it won't, uh, collapse. You know what? Let's, um, move our sea truck quickly. You should do a Borderlands stream? Don't tempt me. That actually sounds really fun. All right. Is this going to start collapsing on us is the question. Uh, No, total strength is 6.8. That's awesome. I don't know why we have this eye compartment then. We just have a giant intro. Oh, it feels so good. Look at this gorgeousness. Uh, we can make indoor grow beds as well, so let's get one of those set up. We don't have anything to grow right now because we don't have a superfood, but it's always good to have an indoor grow bed. And then we need some titanium. That was fast. <clears throat> All right, to the sea truck, back to the base. I tempt you to do a Borderlands stream. <laughs> All right. If people would be interested in a Borderlands stream, I would gladly do a Borderlands stream. I assuming the fun part would be me starting with a new fresh character and just going through the levels, right? I assume me playing like a maxed out character, just running raids over and over and over again, just trying to do what I can wouldn't be that great. Yeah, I, I would definitely do a Borderlands stream. Ooh, I even have a good excuse then. Um, I have never played Tiny Tina's Wonderful Adventure. I've heard mixed things on it, but I still have never played it. I have Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3. And I would be willing to play either of them. Or even Tiny Tina's, I'd be willing to play that as well. All right, grab all the titanium. Okay, we have some quartz, we have some titanium. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad everybody's on the same page here. I assume that's about uh, they would in, you guys would enjoy a stream or about the mixed reviews of Tiny Tina's. Can't really tell which. All right. We grabbed enough titanium so that we could start building things now. I have played one through three. Um, one's the only one I haven't played. I've played two, three, and the pre-sequel. I didn't get very far in the pre-sequel. Maybe I should play that then. I didn't get the notice, but I'm here now. Nekamata, good eye, good eye, and welcome. Borderlands over Tina's? Okay. Good to know. Hopefully the stream doesn't get too boring at this point in time because we are in the we just built a base portion and we are trying to get it all set up. So just a nice starter beginning base. Nothing fancy. 
just enough so that we can actually, you know, do stuff that doesn't involve fancier things. I need some copper, apparently, to finish that fabricator. But now we can actually store stuff. Like these higher needed uh, minerals and supplies. Uh, I don't need flares. I don't want to keep everything else. Maybe not the mineral detector. Let's put that in there. Have I told you about Peanut and Tux, the stray cats my brothers take care of? You have not. But I am interested. Do tell. Um, I'm just going to store everything. Screw it. This is now going to be the boring part of the stream where you watch me go back and forth in my sea truck, grabbing all of the materials from our main hideaway and transferring them into a base. Which now that I think about it, why didn't I just build the base next to the main hideaway? Well, I can tell us why. It's because uh, the main hideaway isn't the best central location. We wanted to be a little closer to everything. Even though uh, the central hideaway would have been a very nice way Uh, a very nice way to, uh, you know, just have everything. Blue tree zone all over again? Yep. You know it. Back up. Oh, because I didn't build it, I actually don't get the ability to uh, repurpose those. Oh, that's unfortunate. It looks like it's only going to take one trip, uh, one more trip, though, after this. Well, Pina is pregnant. Tux is the father. Aw. And is surprisingly doting. Aw, that's also adorable. You took Pina inside so her kittens would be safe. Oh, because they're strays and outside. Right. She adjusted quickly. She was a house cat before she was abandoned. Aw. I don't understand people that would abandon cats or dogs or animals in general like you need to understand that these animals if you take them into your house they rely on you and they are your responsibility which means if you don't want them or you cannot take care of them which does happen it is your responsibility to find homes and safety for them and that could be as easy as let me go to the humane society or an animal shelter and uh, surrender them so that they can Find new homes uh, through other means. Tuck started freaking out when we brought Peanut in, so we brought him inside too. They're staying in a smaller room so they can adjust to the house smells and sounds. Smart. You're handling it well. Store my stuff. Store some stuff. I will probably uh, hop onto this... Uh, game off stream and organize the storage so you guys don't have to see me live do that i have a cat and three snakes peanut and tux's former owner was a druggie if that tells you why they're abandoned ah uh, that's that's unfortunate hold on hmm Let's see. A cat and three snakes. Wow. I've never owned a reptile. And yeah, uh, sometimes there are some unwilling owners to take responsibility over things and put certain priorities over the life of creatures, especially pets or other people. That is sad and unfortunate. Well, that was a sad note. I am glad to hear that somebody is giving Peanut and Tux the attention and the care that they deserve and need. Good on you and your family, Neko. 
Okay. Let's see the final bit of storage. Here we go. Rowan is probably uncomfortable with this conversation. That That's fair. But Rowan is just taking a nap behind me, being nice and comfortable, because even though this is an uncomfortable conversation for Rowan, he knows how much I care for him, and he knows he gets the attention he needs. Anyway, Tux has taken the house. I'm going to start paraphrasing well, and it's turned to free roam. Brother's cat is sort of chill with them. Ah, you guys already had a cat. But because they're now in the house, we have to watch them. Watch when they're out to make sure. Yes, you don't want accident accidents to happen between an established house cat and a stray cat that's getting adjusted. Make sure that they get used to each other. Yes. Once they are used to each other, though, things will be great. Yeah, you guys are handling it well by the sound of it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, <sighs> all right. Dropping all of the extra stuff. Oh, I want that, not these. And a fish. <laughs> okay, everything has been received. Let's see, was it two copper, two titanium, and what else was needed to make a fabricator? Two quartz. Let's make a fabricator, because we will need this. It's also one of the things that will drain our oxygen. But okay. Um. We could probably start building some stuff. However, we just wanted this as a basic base. We now have a place that we can go to. It has some power, some nice oxygen. Maybe we'll build a window. That requires glass. Uh, four quartz. And make a piece of glass. Ooh, what else is on there? Hold on. Right, the high capacity tank. Stormy interacted with Peanut and Tux through the door while they were outside, so she's sort of okay with them. She needs to get used to them being in the house. Got it. Adios to oxygen. Heck yeah. Adios oxygen problems. Wait, no, not adios to oxygen. Adios to oxygen problems. <laughs> very, very different. Okay, we also have a grab trap. The fact that it requires a battery probably means this isn't permanent. Uh, so we need two pieces of glass. Four pieces of titanium and a silver in order to make a high capacity tank. Um, and we want a high capacity tank. That would be very nice. Uh, but let's make a... Oh, now we can put a piece of glass on anywhere. Um, I kind of want to put it here. Good. Integrity of the structure is still good. Uh, we do need some more quartz. Is there some in here? Nope. Nope. We need two pieces of glass. I think that's the big one. Everything else we have. So let's go find four pieces of quartz. Z glide. Mobile vehicle based up. Sure. Titanium titanium. What is this? Creature egg. Quartz. Ooh. Mobile vehicle bay. Quartz. 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 Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Four quartz. That's two. We need two more. Make sure we don't lose the surface. <laughs> Loading plant. Z glide. I want to focus on quartz right now. There's a piece of quartz. One more. Okay. 
There we go. What are you? Mobile vehicle. Fun fact, Stormy has a weak jaw doing an overbite. So she's learned how to use her paws like hands. Aww. <laughs> it's funny until she grabs your arm for cuddles and refuses to let go. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Where is my starter base? There should be quartz around the twisty bridges. Man, I forgot how much of an encyclopedia you are on uh, Subnautica, Neko. But that's good, but I found my quartz. You know, I actually really like this window. This is a very nice view. I don't know what's causing that light. Okay, let us make two pieces of glass. I already forgot what we needed this for because I get distracted easily, apparently. Right, we were going for a uh, high capacity tank. So let's grab a piece of silver. Let's rip off our tank. And let's make the bigger one. Yeah, what's it up to now? 90 seconds. So does that mean 90 instead of 75? Nope, because that's right. We have a baseline of 45. Okay. So instead of 75, 30, it now has 90. So 135. Yeah, that's a good amount of oxygen. All right. We're making great progress. Let's hit a save button. Um, And I think we've gone a little bit longer than I was hoping for. Uh, But that's okay. We did everything we wanted and then some. The original point of the stream was... There's also diamonds in the deep twisty bridges and rubies are abundant in the quarry. You can also find the prawn suit fragments in the quarry. Wow, uh, I think that might round everything else off. I don't know what you mean by the quarry or any of that. Uh, oh, wait, no, yeah, I do. The quarry, the, um, uh, the what I call it, the uh, Copa mining site, whatever that uh, symbol is. I hope that's what you mean by quarry. Hola, oxygen. <laughs> Welcome back, oxygen, so much oxygen. Uh, I think we're going to save it for next time, though. Uh, we can go to the, Cop the Copa mining site. We have the sea truck, which we just discovered this stream. We have the sea truck depth upgrade, so we can go even deeper. We have the laser cutter, so we can actually go to the big ship now. And we can finally get to the pilot last known position, because now we have the booster on below zero's prawn suit has been improved. Nice. I, I can't wait. Uh, the prawn suit is what I'm most looking forward to. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to call stream for today. We made our temporary base. It's just going to be a grow bed, some stuff, and uh, some relaxation points. Uh, I kind of want to build another hatch, but we don't have enough stuff. So we'll do that next time. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in today. This has been a great stream. I look forward to the next one. We're probably going to have a long next stream. We have a lot to accomplish. So let's give it a quick save. Let the penguin do his little happy dance. And let us jump to the main menu. Oh, yep, I tend to say quarry because it takes less time than mining site. Okay, but that is what you meant. So good, we can go there. This part of the base looks familiar. Yeah, a little bit, right? I don't know why. It's not like it's a consistent way that I like to build bases for especially beginning ones, but, the, uh, but that's not the point. <laughs> it's a nice temporary base, but yeah, it does very much look like our first base from Subnautica, doesn't it? What is it? Subnautica 1, Subnautica Prime, Subnaut Subnautica Real? I don't know what to call it. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate the ever-living hell out of you. For any lurkers in chat who just haven't been nice and chatty, lurker love, we all appreciate you too. I'm a lurker in most chats that I'm in. Um, For this next coming week, I don't think I have any major plans. So I think we're going to have a nice standard week. We'll see Mega Man on Wednesday. We'll see Subnautica on Sunday. We'll probably be playing more Neon White on Saturday. And I haven't decided what we're doing on Thursday. It could be Code Vein. It could be Armor Core. Hell, it looks like people want Borderlands. I might throw a Borderlands 2 stream in there or a Borderlands 3 stream. I don't know. I'm crazy. We could do anything. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you all for tuning in today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you haven't... Uh, Go ahead and share the channel. Let other people know about it. Uh, I love hanging out with all of you here in chat. It's so great. But I hope you start today with a good eye so that you can end today with a good night. I look uh, look forward to the uh, stream schedule. I'll probably uh, finalize it either today or tomorrow. 
and then post it to Twitter and YouTube. Of course, that's where I always post them. So follow the stream schedule. I apologize that the notifications aren't going out. That is very strange. But otherwise, check the schedule. I do stick to it, and I make updates to it on Twitter. I don't update it on YouTube. But follow me on Twitter if you want live updates of when the streams are going to be happening. And I think that's all I really have. Everyone, please enjoy your Sunday. From good eye, good eye to goodbye, goodbye. Have a good one, everybody. And I will see you all for Mega Man Wednesday on Wednesday. Bye now.